Hello everyone! Have you ever considered that you could take earning money and turn that into a form of warfare? My name is Koifish and today we are taking a shot at a very special ruler, Emir Adanis. The Berber mastermind accountant that is the best steward on this side of Iberia. But can the man that serves, serve up a dish of hot revenge? As this man tries to take the kingdom, it's time to play Crusader Kings 3 A to C. Where I play as every starting character in Crusader Kings 3. Now when I say every starting character, I don't mean every starting character. I instead mean these recommended starts. Like Petty King Murshad, Duke Vratislav, Baby Don't Hurt Me, and of course the man we're playing today, Emir Adanis. Tasked by the Umayyad Sultan with protecting the western coast from Viking raids, the Berber Banu Danis dynasty has quickly grown in influence and power. Emir Adanis has built a strong fortress in Al Qasr and Coimbra, but is concerned about the Mossarabs under his rule, who would rather side with his nemesis, Ibn Marwan. All my homies hate Ibn Marwan! Real homies support the Banu Danis! Can Emir Adanis secure his lands and lead the Berbers to a great future? I don't know. Why yes he can, and Vikings will be the last problem of the Sultan, as we aim to claim the whole cake. So without further ado, this is Emir Adanis, Crusader Kings 3, A to C. Alright, here we are, in Iberia, and we're playing with the Iberian struggle mechanics. Now I've gone over this in a bunch of my videos, but if you're not familiar, I'll give you a quick rundown. In Iberia, if you have the Fate of Iberia DLC, the Iberian struggle is activated, which basically means that we have some specific game rules while playing in the continent of Iberia. The long and short of it is that there's different phases. Currently, we're in opportunity. This changes the rules, so for example, we get cheaper mercenaries. Fabricating claims cost prestige instead of gold, and we have a bunch of wonderful causes bellies, uh, war goals that we can push. Taking land has never been easier. I'll show you. If I wanted to attack, for example, my neighbor here, I could do a struggle clash, taking all of this territory that borders me. I can also do a border raid. This will give me gold in proportion to the development of the area I attack. That's pretty cool. No title changes hands though. It's literally just raiding. <laughs> but for Muslims, my goal today will be to use my immense knowledge of stewardship to infiltrate the court of the Al-Andalus Umayyad dynasty and take the whole kingdom. I will do that right away. Starting a plot, I'm going to claim the throne. If I'm successful with this scheme, I will get a press claim on the whole Sultanate of Al-Andalus, taking one of the strongest kingdoms on this continent and moving my capital to Kurtuba with the Great Mosque of Cordoba. How great can it be? I'm telling you, it's pretty wonderful. Now to do that, we're gonna stick with stewardship. We're all the way down in the administrator tree, with the meritocracy letting us claim the throne of our liege and administrator, giving us some pretty wonderful bonuses to our stewardship and vassal opinion, as well as all these great bonuses for later controlling what we take, like toad the line, having our vassals less likely to join independence facts, soon forgiven, reducing our tyranny, position of power, increasing the opinion of our counselors, that should be our strongest vassals. So we're going to domain focus for an extra three stewardship and we start with the dynasty legacy. Now being in this Iberian region we have two new dynasty legacies, Metropolitan and Coterie. Metropolitan basically boosts your cities incredibly. For example, the finisher, flourishing cities, let you increase a building slot in every sitting holding. There's also dedicated contributors, letting you build way faster, and this stacks with other bonuses. Coterie is all about making your dynasty stronger together. For example, Pragmatic Roots lets you disinherit children for prestige and tyranny instead of renown. Or Unity, letting you call house member to war for every house member. That's huge. A dynasty that rides together, dies together. <laughs> Hopefully not. But we're instead going to go with activities. I want to be able to host grand weddings to increase my power. And there's a chance for us to gain a temporary strong hook on lieges who will like you at grand weddings. Very strong, very powerful. Nothing like a Berber wedding, am I right? If only there was a Berber that invited me to his wedding, that would be great. But right now, we're going to claim the heck out of his throne. So let's do it. We also want to try to become a steward. To do that, we can modify our vassal contract. We also need to earn as much gold as possible. And currently, he's at war with Emir Sadun ibn Fat, the border region, all the way up here. So we're going to contract a sister and join his war. And if we help him enough, he will pay us gold. We're basically becoming mercenaries. I did a whole video where I played as mercenaries. You can check it out in the description. We now join the war on the side of our ally. And we're fighting against, oh, King Alfonso, of course. A great and worthy adversary. Let's raise our armies. And let's earn our pay. Now we'll join this other war as well, as it's in our best interest to make sure that, that Sultan Muhammad does not ruin the Al-Andalus Empire, as we aim to claim the whole throne. 
We will need every vassal we can get. And they do want to marry my horses. God damn it. Who wouldn't marry this woman? Now we need strong alliances. This man just wants to play chess. My nemesis, Abal Ar Ramadin Marwan. I hate him. I hate him. Once I'm done getting the claim, I'm gonna kill him. Also, I know a secret about you. No. No, instead, we will take my whole sister and marry her off to a strong alliance. This man here is very powerful, but he also seems to be T-posing on us. Interesting. Send the proposal. We can also pick up more spouses. We're going to try to introduce more strong traits into our family and more children that we can use for alliances. Robust, giant, and quick. Our main wife is really, really good, as she gets me a lot of intrigue. Something we're sort of lacking on. All right, alliance is secured. Time to help my leech. We've also been invited to become his steward. Let's go. That's going to increase our gold by a whole two a month. And he also wants to give me vassals. My dear friend, I'm helping you in this war. But know that above the table, it is your smiles. But underneath, I'm holding a loaded Glock 17. I mean a dagger. Yeah, but I'll take your vassals. This man is giving me less troops because he doesn't like me. So, we we'll start swaying the man. And before no time, I'll have more armies. We also need to take our steward and promote cultural acceptance with me and Andalusians, as I am a Berber boy. And we'll take my spy master and find secrets in Kurtoba. Where the heck are you going, guys? I'm starting to be sad that I actually helped this man. He's clearly not a worthy ruler. We have to be careful to see where he joins. He's going in up here and we'll help him. Turn the tide of the war. We won't get paid unless we do enough war score. So hopefully this counts to us having helped in the war. The main war contribution we have to do is against these guys, the Asturias. And blessed be, I have a son. Alhamdulillah, it is little Abdul. Abdul Ibn Adanis. And of course I shall educate him myself. You'll become my next accountant. A battle accountant. Make sure you have your books in order. Because we're about to balance them on your dead head. I'll attach to his army. And that way the AI will lead us into battle. And hopefully victory. I'm going to go for a bit of a goofy move. We're going to wait for him to leave. And then we'll take his capital. That's going to impress my leech. And you believe it. There's ill omens against the Sultan. I am the one that should rule. The Al-Andalus people deserve a Berber ruler, a better ruler. And we'll also take her gold and increase some of her holdings. al Kekor del Sal, a beautiful little area. We need to see what unit we need to win this whole war. He's using mostly the Mubarisun, heavy infantry. So we will counter the heck out of them by using our own Berber homegrown troops, the Abu Drar. Great in desert mountains, mountains, hills, not very bad in desert. Luckily, these are a lot of hills. They also counter heavy infantry and they're cheap as ships. Let's get them. And it seems my gamble is paying off as I've taken the capital. A white piece? Just as I tried to take it. Oh, you dog. But I didn't get paid. Ah, I feel so cheated now. But alas, the empire is intact. The border war is over and uh, it's time to claim his throne. Let's get some strong alliances going. I am happily soaking in the bathhouse, sharing deep reflections and salacious yoke with Sultan Mohammed, my brother-in-law. I'm generally having fun. Have we become friends? Wholesome moments. You, me, in the bath. Let's go. So we're gonna need a lot of friends if we're doing this. Oh, but I'm being murdered. No. No! A strange noise, a clang in the hallway. <gasps> it is Sadun! It's Sadun! Oh no, it's it's my brother-in-law and my liege, the Sultan! It's our birthday party! Alhamdulillah, <laughs> give me a big gift, a spear! <gasps> If it isn't the spear that I'm gonna stab the king with. No, no, I would never do that. Now I'm being drafted to Tunisia. I don't wanna fight in Tunisia. No, stop. We're very close to fabricating the claim on the Sultan. Once we have that, we will be ready to rock and roll. And it's time. I am the man. I have near indisputable evidence that I am of the lineage of none other than Abal Ar-Rahman himself. And that I should have a claim. My source, I'm, I'm sure you can find it somewhere in the big book, all right? I will rule it. And with this claim, I am allowed to create. No, he's my friend. I can't do this against him. This pains me. This pains me a lot. But we can't be friends anymore. <gasps> we aren't friends anymore. I tried to take your title. Huzzah! Now we do have a little problem. Uh, although I can create a cool claimant faction, do you think anyone would support me? Considering, well, I'm the backstabbing steward of the Sultan and he has a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're about to have a house rivalry against House Umayyad. And although their house motto is no cruelty, I think that's more of an in-joke rather than a statement. My is endurance over boldness. We need to be clever about this. And we need to gain powerful vassals on our side. Now the most powerful vassal, yeah, that's sort of my rival. To add members, we need a strong hook on them to force them to join. <laughs> Who else than my nemesis? Fabricate a hook on him. 
Just make something up and have my spy master find secrets. One evening as I'm preparing for bed, I hear two of my servants talking in harsh voices. It takes me a moment to realize that they're speaking in Berber rather than Arabic. They clearly don't realize that I can understand them. Bruh. Here's what I've heard from a reliable Berber source. If you speak a Moroccan type Arabic, that's like impossible to understand if you speak any other Arabic. I swiftly exit my quarters before my guards that are assassinated in my room. Thank Allah I speak Arabic. Oh my lord. They tried to murder- he tried to murder me! Well, bucko, you're about to join me in this war whether you like it or not. But it does remind me that I should probably invest in a bodyguard. Oh, but they're all garbage! Oh, you want to buy back your mother? I'm so sorry, man. I didn't know you ha I had her. I have a bunch of his kids. Let's take this downtime to go on a proper hajj. So let's get a caravan master and let's head out. But we're gonna do this proper road trip style as we want to get as much experience as possible. We're gonna be a bit of a tourist here. It's the goddamn trip of a lifetime. And off we go. By hitting all of these great spots, we're gonna get a bunch of experience for our lifestyles. My goal is to make my pilgrimage as pious as possible, but right now we need to reduce our stress. And we're just picking up alliances. Wonderful. Beautiful. And we're all the way here in Egypt, right in time to get another stewardship. And even though I'm out on a pious journey, these peasants are trying to cause problems. It's a simple matter though. We will strike them down with violence. I've been at the pilgrimage. I've been cutting corners, but this feels wrong. I will stay here for a regular amount of time. I am Mercedes. I am a pilgrim. I am a pilgrim. And the war is over. Thank you. Uprising, well, downrising. And I'm having a great time over here in the beautiful area of Mecca. Mecca is sort of the Mecca of Mecca, you know? What? Wife has died? No, wife has been murdered. <gasps> Why? Why? Who did? Who done? Who done it? Was it even my main wife you killed? You just killed a random wife. Pilgrimage over, but what? I didn't get to become a pilgrim? And this man you sends me gold. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> wow, that's nice of you. Oh my lord, I'm in Rome. I guess I'll pick up an artifact. I'm sure there could be something beautiful here. A book, the metaphysical. Well, the pilgrimage is over, but I think it sort of ended early for some reason. But oh well, that's fine for me. I have a bigger goal. Something less, well, holy. More like putting holes in my enemy. This man is getting stronger by the day. But I have a bunch of alliances. If I could get even more by the fact that I have so many kids, we could, well, kill this man outright. How is Empire crumbled to crumbs, but I would prefer to do it in, well, a scheme. We need to try to become friends with some of his most powerful men. We'll befriend this guy and we'll fabricate a hook on this man. Uh, but the lead just de the lead just died. What? And the realm is split! No! But we must act then. I can declare war and just take it for myself. And I'm much more powerful. This is not a curse, this is a blessing! Let's go! Every ally, we need to win this. We need to guarantee this victory. For the heavens, raise the armies. No need to fabricate silly hooks. We'll also pick up these guys, the Andalusian band of Alquanis. Mercenaries. Although vile, they're not that expensive. Now we need to make sure we fight in hills. That's where we have our best bonuses. He has a lot of troops. We hope to counter them. He's also suffering other wars. We need to be clever and quick. <gasps> he called in an ally. No! Abel Adraman! The wolf! My rival! My nemesis! Oh, I wanna kill you! I wanna put you in a sack! Spread lies about you! Where are my allies? Why aren't they coming? Wait, slowly. It's gonna be too late! We need to run! Run to the hills! We will kill him in the hills! No, we need to run! My rival! I could kill my rival instead! And wait for my allies to swoop in! You want to make me the steward of Sensir? Yeah, sure, man, sure. But we sort of have to win a war here! I'll station some besiegers and head out. Don't let them steal my kids! I have so many kids! Don't let them steal my kids! God damn it, we're gonna lose! He's gonna, he's gonna steal my kids! We move! Everyone moves! Come! The great offense! We're turning, we're turning mercenaries to farmers? Sure, <laughs> sure! Vinan Saga! The good or Who's this man? <gasps> We're buying a mercenary. Emir Bakir ibn Yaha. Of course, man. Of course. Join. We need to charge. Charge. We're outnumbered something deviously, but here comes the reinforcements. But it's not enough. We lost. No. And <gasps> he killed my, he killed my courtiers. My bodyguard. No. The dog. And he damaged my spear. Bro. What the hell? Here we go. It's not so funny now, is it? Come here. Divide and conquer. Get me back my wife. You dog. Right, we took it back. Let's take his capital. We need to be bro bold and brave. Let's go. And more alliances. We need more alliances. He's getting alliances. We need to get alliances. 2,000 men. Get him in here. My rival died. <gasps> Sadun the Silent has died. Very good. So close. So close. Yes, that's his capital taken. Now we spread out and conquer more. You get it? Conquer more? Because 
For the Moors, I guess, sort of. Oh, for the love of God, let us win. No, my troops, my army, it got caught out. I'm dying. No, because I'm so stressed. I need to de-stress immediately. I'll become angry. I'll lash out at people. That's a good way. That's a good way to calm down. We'll claim this area. Gibraltar. I see the rock from here. Come on, come on. We done it. Al-Andalus is mine. Hussah! We are the king. The king. I'm Amin Umar Adanis Ibn Afsabga of Al Andalus. That is a long title. I love it. Let's hang the banners. Glorious. Alhamdulillah. <gasps> the seal of Muhammad. This is a glorious reliquary. Wonderful. And you think we had that? Now, we're handsome back our wife. She looks sort of angry at us. So, um, I kind of want her back. And we control the biggest kingdom. Glorious. And of course, we'll make an accolade. Amma, the noblest of bondsmen. A camelier. I see. We can get some insane camels. We have camels. Let's, let's get better camels. Now, the problem is that this little kid controls what's supposed to be the capital. So, we'll increase our crown authority when time comes. And we'll head out. But we should try to make a hybrid culture with the Andalusians. We've been slowly increasing cultural acceptance. So, when time comes, we'll be ready. We'll also beef up our court with all these new vassals. Once I was a vassal. Now... The Vasali, uh, the, the man, I, I rule, it's my kingdom. Now we need to control this area. We have a bunch of factions against us, despite our bonuses to reducing faction chances. The Prince Al Qasim Ibn Muhammad has a claim on this area. I could release my anger on him as I'm fighting him. Not really what I intended, but I'll give it a try. Well, I'm victorious, he's wounded and I reduce stress. I don't see how this is gonna help my claim though. I just showed up and started beating people up. Not exactly what I needed. I need friends. Let's see if we can make this man convert and turn him over to become a friend. A lowly page has been stealing from my household. The woman... God damn, what have you been stealing? Cake? Sheesh! Imprisoner. Now we're pretty hate. So let's try to ally some of these great houses. We also hold court. This has a high chance of giving us opinion boosting events. Now we need to increase our diplomacy. Our wife isn't exactly great at it, but we do have multiple wives. And this one, she's damn great at it. I'll make her my primary spouse. Then I can have her boost my diplomacy by seven. And we'll take our chancellor and get our domestic affairs in order. Basically, improving opinion with all of our vassals. Our court type is administrative, meaning we get development growth in our capital if we get to level 4. But currently, we're sort of losing money. Another huge issue could be that we don't even speak the same language. No, I do speak Arabic. Oh, thank God. Now, this claimant faction would go away if... Uh, well, for some reason, this man went away. He barely rules any land. It's still an issue though. This is a big problem. Could we perhaps bribe some people? I'm not exactly rich, but it mostly comes from them having the wrong religion. Now, I could have pissed them off even more and tried to make them convert, but instead, how about I put them in a sack? No, that's not gonna work. But maybe if I murder him. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work either. And I used to stand the risk of looking foolish. Bulking up on alliances seems to be the correct way to do. I'm starting to turn this man around. We're slowly becoming friends. And this man wants to buy a truce. I'll take it. And with the truce money I could, can't afford that. We need to get this man on our side. But how? Your son. My granddaughter. No, not an alliance. How about this then, huh? Take one of my granddaughters. Man's bartering for his life over here. All right, all right. You're willing to back down now? Come on. You know, the main problem is the cultural accept. That man is Basque. But it seems that was enough. The claim is gone. Who saw? We've survived another day. And I became an architect. I like to make houses, you know. They, they're nice. Now we're gonna switch off stewardship. We need to rule with an iron fist. We'll go over to foreign affairs. Hey, there's the little prince. Nice of you to show up. <laughs> but almost as punishment. I'm infirm. And I'm dying. Oh, don't let the realm split. You let me die already. Damn, I'm getting so much land. All these inheritances. I just need to stabilize the realm. <gasps> I know. A last great feast. I'm dying. I'm old. I'm about to keel over. But before we do that, we're gonna have a great time. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Oh my god, what? What? My wife brought with a woman? No. And this man demands an artifact. The seal of Muhammad. <laughs> No, that's mine. I took that from you. Tell you what, let's get the doctor. Any physician. You give yourself a little bit of a chance to survive. Well, the feast is done and we gain some great opinion with our friends. As well as a great banquet. More development growth. Hopefully this should stabilize our realm. If only for a little bit. Hey, they're starting to come around. And this man wants to become my true friend. Wali Jami. Wali Jami. Walking down the street. <laughs> of course, man. We're the best of friends, bro. What do you want to do? You want to 
hang out? You wanna play some video game? <laughs> what I really need is to take Kurtuba. The Great Mosque is an amazing holding and look at that development. And the rice fields. Welcome to the rice fields, my friend. But goddamn do I have a backwards culture. We don't even have plenary assembles. And I'm not even the head ruler Baranis. Tell you what, we need to merge with the Andalusians. And that will happen sooner than later. Oh my lord. My, my nephew Sheikh Firuz Ibn Muhammad wants to give me the tooth of Muhammad. The Muhammad, not your tooth. You not just give me your tooth. Bro, what a, what a glorious, glorious artifact. I feel like I'm collecting every piece of him. <laughs> it's like that Yu-Gi-Oh card. Damn, relics are kind of weird. You think anyone's gonna be like, ah, oh, this is the collarbone of koi fish. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. That would be hella weird. Creepy. Well, it seems that the realm is sort of stabilized and even though I'm infirm, I'm still kicking. I'm still here. I'm playing board games with little kids. And Wally Lub, my marshal. <gasps> you picked the wrong castle, fool! <laughs> Hey, 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 chill! <laughs> Under further pressure from my marshal, the young man explains that he's part of a large criminal organization originating from the Sultanate of Yil... That place. <laughs> he's being ruled by Tibalt, the king of Thebes. A Catholic Basque man! You tried to set up a new Thieves guild right under my nose? I'll have you know, my nose gives a lot of shade. You can gain more control. I can tax the Thieves guild. Tell me where they are! And my wife is in love with me? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Are you like a secondary wife trying to gain favor? by pretending to be in love? Damn, that's sad. I'll go along with it. <laughs> then a maid is plotting against my son, Masood? But he's a great kid. Wait, no, this is Masood. Oh, he's garbage. I kill him. <laughs> my lord, I've come back from Tibet. Oh yeah, I sent a guy to Tibet. I forgot about that. But we found a bulky bundle into my hands. <gasps> it's it's earrings worn by gods. The Makaraka... The Makarakundula! The Makarakundala! Earrings claimed to be worn by gods? Sounds like heresy, but damn, that's glorious. What a, what a cool collection of artifacts. Adan is the collector. Let's up our spending to get a bigger court. Oh yeah, that's a lovely court. Look at that, huh? me giving my little sons jobs. That's glorious. I have a son that wants to be a jester? No, uh, Afkul... Afalku, you can be the jester. There we go. That should make for a more prestigious court. This man wants to buy a truce. I'll take it. And this man wants to synergize your friendship to learning. I'll take it. Why not? Can I, I can totally usurp this sultan. But I'll hold off. I'm rich. I'm powerful. I'm dead. No. What do you mean I'm dead? As things were coming together. But hey, the realm is not split. I can rearrange my council. But I am rather hated. My short reign, that, that's not really the best thing here. I will also need more spouses. The the current one is a, is a silly Andalusian. Let's pick up some great alliances. We need to avoid the realm splitting. I'm, I'm, my brother is wounded. Bro, look at your glorious ginger beard. This is a bastard. We're now playing as Amir Alumara Masud Ibn Adanis of Al-Andalus. A glorious guy and uh, something's gone terribly wrong with this woman. What the hell? Oh, she looks normal. Let's marry off some... Let's promise away some of my kids. We want to put them in great big positions. This woman is blonde. I'm being cocked. Tell you what, the Andalusians, we have all we need to form a hybrid culture, except for a whole lot of prestige, so I know exactly how to get that. We'll host a grand tour, a massive one, or better yet, a grand tournament, and I'll win it. We'll go with a duel, I'll participate myself, and we'll go for the best artifacts. It's gonna cost a lot, but I'm sure it's worth it. Alright, let's get in here. Now, how do I aim to win? Well... I'm gonna cheat. We'll try to win and do it fair. But I'm not much of a fighter. Are you scared? As you see, we just totally lost. I happen to be the leech. Meaning, I can disqualify him. A bit of tyranny, a bit of prestige loss. And people don't really like me. But, uh, bro, it's my event. Hey, I won fairly that time. Bro, this is like playing with that neighborhood kid that changes up the rules. You have a laser gun? Well, I have a mirror on my stomach. And the laser bounces off. Another loss, but... Uh, he cheated! He cheated! <laughs> and I won! I actually won! Totally fair and square, no cheating involved. What a great occasion! That also means I get a prize ring, plus 20 fertility, and a bunch of prestige per month. Wonderful! Hey! <laughs> the prize ring! Yeah, okay, I've seen the animation. Thank you. <laughs> we'll also pick up walking the sacred path. Cheaper pilgrimages. No! I've let it slip my mind! <gasps> They're pissed off that I cheated. Prince Al Qasim is not the rightful ruler. I will not be threatened. It seems we're in a big, big war. So we're gonna use a few for alliances, which we have a few of, <laughs> and call them in. As it's a defensive war, it doesn't cost any prestige. So I'll just get all of them in. This is a great opportunity. We're gonna clean the slate. Wipe it clean. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Raise the armies. Well, there goes my council. <laughs> 
So I'm literally just putting my brothers in here. Sure, wonderful. That's what I call proper nepotism. Now, time to fight. We're gonna go for a bit of divide and conquer. And I have my mega accolade here that is completely boosting my camels, which I have a lot of. Imagine a camel charging at you. Now imagine five. Now imagine six. Now imagine 600. I am Baranis, but the people of my capital, <gasps> it's giving me the event for free. Ooh. But I won't get to pick. But it's gonna save me a lot of prestige. I'll do it. The Andalus of Baradis hybridization. Let's go. Now what did we get? Friendship, all right. Family business. Either way, that's that's big. That's good. I mean, I would have preferred malleable subjects, but uh, you can't get everything. That was really, really good though. <laughs> oh, well, we have it. Time to spread it. Twins, for the love of God, just give up. Damn, he died. Marry someone else then. Oh my Lord, I can't believe it. I'm choking on a piece of toast. Keep it calm. Breathe. Oh my God. Those events are devious paradox. I I, I, I despise the death events, but they're so... They spice things up. I'll give you that. Another set of twins. Oh my Lord. I, I'm gonna have so many kids. Just imagine the child support. And grueling. Stop demanding artifacts. You're not getting them. I stole them. Damn, we're in debt. We're in some serious debt. Oh, for the love of God, just let me capture them. There we go. The war is over. And we can enforce demands and throw them into the dungeon. Which is really good because, well, we're gonna need some gold. I currently can't revoke titans, but you know what I can do? Demand conversions. We will let them out if they become our religion. Al Qasim has all that's claimed, so if he renounces those claims and we banish his silly bottom, yeah, that'll be good. As for these, we will ransom them out. We need the gold. Yeah, that fixed our money problems if just a little bit. But we're in a pretty bad situation. Uh, we'll see about solving this. God damn it, you're a quarrelsome lot. It's so hard keeping this in intact. There's people everywhere trying to- Prince Adon is my half brother! Stop it! No- I'll tell you what, I'm fed up with Al-Andalus. I don't wanna leave here anymore. There's plot after plot after plot. That's it. I'm moving. I'm gonna move out of here. Alaman, we're going to another realm. But where? As far away from Iberia as I possibly can. And we'll, we'll just leave everything behind. I have an idea. To Diflin, the Great Emerald Isles. This cursed land I shall leave behind. I don't wish to live here. I have to get as much money as possible from this wretched place before we leave. You stole back your banner. You can have it. Ah! He took it! He took it! I'm gonna steal it back! I'm stealing the seal of Muhammad and I'm taking it to Ireland and you can't stop me. And I'm financing it all by blackmailing the Greeks. Of course. What a rational thing to do. Give me the claim. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. Raise the armies. We're heading for Ireland. And I steal back the seal of Muhammad. <laughs> To its rightful place. There you go. I swear to God, the allies being called in for this war must be so confused. But hey, my father was tasked with defending against the Vikings. So why not take the fight to them? Borid Ivarsson, come here. Let them claim the throne. My realm will grow fat of the gold of Greeks. Do I attempt to take his capital? He is rather powerful. I should maybe wait for my allies. What would happen if I say no? I become a vassal of this man? My half brother? I will not be threatened. You may take it from my cold dead hands. And here comes my allies. For the love of God, let's conquer these Vikings. Come on. Take his capital. Siege it. Quick. Oh, good. A good first strike. Now we take Dufflin. Or Dublin. Or whatever you people call it. You want peace? No. There will be no peace. The Battle of Oriel. We can do this. Please. Please. I just want to leave my own country. Please. Please. No. Every ally. Please. We need to take Ireland. It's almost as if camels isn't a good thing to attack in Ireland. But, but there they are. The camels of Ireland. Please, for the love of God, siege faster. We've done it. We've taken the land. Now to strike back at this Viking menace. There is. Kill him. Oh, we can leave. Move the cursed capital. Now we let this man claim it. Take my kingdom. I do not wish to have it. I give up the crown. And I can finally move my capital, Dublin. And my old holding, I give to the king, my half-brother. But first, I will do the unthinkable. If I'm to leave, no one can have it. Dissolute the entire area. You want to make me the steward? But just to steal your gold. And now, the glorious plot to destroy the realm of their liege. Let us all become independent. Let me leave for Ireland and ruin al Andalus for everyone. My goal was to defend against the Vikings and gosh damn it, that's what I'll do. He accepts. <gasps> the, dis the dissolution is it's gone. I'm free. I give Kwasir Abidanis to this man. <gasps> oh, we we we're, we're leaving. We're actually leaving. <laughs> Time to bolster and take Ireland. 
We can do it. <clears throat> it pains me, but we're gonna have to sell the camels. We have to sell the camels to heck with it. But we need to get vengeance for the lost camels. We will conquer Ireland. Give me connect. Raise the lads. We're gonna go fighting. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're in Ireland. Break the betrothal. My daughter will not marry that man. My daughter will marry uh, a proper Irish lad. Come here. Alba Gubra. Alba Gubra, my nuts, you Irish lad. Come here. Hussar. Oh, we've captured a little boy, you. Eh? Take the chiefdom. Oh, bye. But we'll make a new type once we have gold. But for now, the war continues. This whole island of Ireland will speak our language. We'll believe our customs. We will meld with them. We will become the new Irishmen. Blessed be. We've captured them. <laughs> this is so strong. This is so easy to conquer. Now we wish to rule me. So we'll give this area away to someone. Of course. A local Irish noble. Irish Ashori. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this increases the cultural acceptance. Oh yeah. That's wonderful. So that we one day may hybridize with the Irish. Koi fish. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm just winging it. But I know one thing. I'm going to conquer Ireland. This Zeri is crawling with Vikings, and I was tasked to do it. I'm just carrying out orders. I can't believe it. We're already converting the areas. Glorious! <laughs> We're taking it. Monster is ours. Oh my lord. We came here just a, 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 a bit ago. We've already taken so much. And now it's time. We make Connacht. Make it our primary duchy. And we leave this old land behind. Goodbye. Oh yeah. We're no longer in Iberia. Glorious. Now all we have to do is to save up and buy the kingdom type. Very good. I... I have died. But at least I died on Irish soil. And Emir Antalas, my son, steps up to the plate. Born a twin, but alas, my brother holds territory. I shall claim it swiftly. As once we've done that, we should have enough gold to properly take this area back. Come here for the new Ireland. We're now Emir Antalas Ibn Masud, a 15-year-old guy. A very cool one at that. I became a skilled tactician and a holy warrior. Pretty good traits, all things considered. But I do have an entrenched regent. I dismiss them with the wave of a hand. I now rule Ireland and will go for authority folk to hold our land firmly. And just like that, our brother's land is now ours. And all I will need to make Ireland is a bit more gold. And I know exactly how to get it. I've been blackmailing Greeks for so long. <gasps> but alas, I don't have to trade anymore. I need to get married. We'll go for Hamda, Shoban, Shivon, Kisilu, and Setak. Now, how am I gonna gain all that gold? I want war? The Mercians? They're attacking Dublin. It's Dogger Hastingson! The son of Hastin! I don't believe this! This could be our lifeline. We've been promising to hold off those invaders for so long. If I siege down their holdings, I can steal their gold and I can ransom him back. I am fighting the son of Hastin! My father's father, Adanis, promised to fight off the Vikings. And here I am, three generations later, Fighting the son of the Viking himself, Hastin. And we slew him! But alas, this is destiny. I ransom him for gold, and I get closer to my goal. Here comes the Jorvikians. Slay them. Slay them quickly. We shall take Jorvik. And my son is born, Abdulazim. So many people captured. So many potential ransoms. We shall declare white peace. I've done it. I finally have enough gold, but... <gasps> Who are you, Helga or his daughter? A Viking. A Viking hag. I shall slay her. She will not take the Ulsterion. But first, I ascend. I am king of Ireland. The Emerald King. Malik Antanas Ibn Masud of the Banustanis Maliket of Ireland. Oh god, that is, a, that is a mess. But now we must defend. You may take our lives, but you'll never take my Maliket from here. The battle of the Bailathas Verdia. Alba Gubra. Nobody expects the Irish conquest. Beat him back. Claim the Ulster Scots lands. Take this, you absolute schman. Now drive them off our lands. Come here. The Battle of Dublin. We have protected our lands. Enforce the mans. Get out of here. Stop crying. You were the one attacking me. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Ireland. It has been 78 years since we started, and we've come a long way from whatever this Andalusian hellscape is. But we have conquered all of Ireland, and a bit more. And in 30 days is the last holding converted. All of this Asharaism. But alas, they're all Irish. Sure, they're ruled by Andalusia Baranis, but nonetheless, Irish. 
What if I told you that we've been bonding with the Irishmen? That we've lived with them? That we may form the Hiberno Andaluso Baranis culture? Ritualized friendship, maritime mercantilism, pastoralism, the family business. This is the ultimate culture. The Hiberno Andaluso Baranis hybridization is real. The Irish. And with that, my friends, I think I'm gonna end it here. You look at this. A 10 development capital in the middle of a hellscape of no technology. We are turning Dublin into a glorious Ashari Hiberno under that's a lot of words anyways it's looking beautiful I love it the Sultan of Ireland I hope you liked this video if you did leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next A to C where we're gonna tackle someone very special someone very Italian perhaps even a bit French but most of all a former sellsword hope to see you guys in that video until then stay Hiberno Andalusa Baranis my dudes Yay!